Hi everyone. So this amazing video is about different loras, which personally I find very amazing. So uh, a lot of us use different loras daily, but uh, they, these are some of my picks, which are pretty unique, and I have generated the images with them. I'll give you the links and everything, and I'll also show you the generations. And according to that, you can see like try to use these loras as well. So this is the workflow that I am using and I also upload the workflow like you can find it in the description. This is pretty easy. I am using a batch prompting node. So what happens is that for flux, you need to keep the negative as blank. You don't need to put anything in the positive. You can put anything like X, Y, Z or anything you can put right. And you just need to separate all the different prompts with this. That's it. And with this, you can have as many prompts as you want. And once you click on queue prompt, it will keep on running and running and running until all of these are generated. And you can see all of these generated here. So that is how I generated all the images. So if you have multiple prompts, there is another way you can also create a text file and then choose it. But I find this method very easy. You can directly write it here. And you can also use it as a single uh, prompt. If you remove all of this, it will just create uh, the image with the single prompt. So this is something I love very much. And other than that, there is nothing special. It is just a normal workflow. I just keep on changing the LoRa's to generate all of these. So with that being said, let's come to the first uh, LoRa here, which is the micro landscape on mobile phones. So if you see this one, and uh, you can uh, you'll find all of these links in the description below the reason why i find this pretty amazing is that firstly it creates any kind of landscape on black background and uh, in a phone right so the black background is pretty amazing because you can remove it it is very easy to create transparency with black background and these kind of images are something which you can always see on websites web development and other those kind of projects so if you have a website or a tech website and if you want to create anything like this can be a server, uh, a room with servers, this can be anything and uh, you generally see these kind of images. So it is pretty unique and it is pretty good. So I'll show what kind of images I generated. This was just a snowy landscape and you can see the detailing here is pretty good. Like you can see small humans and everything. This was uh, some kind of oasis and with palm trees, you can see small umbrellas and people. There are people in this particular like uh, water body here, right? And this was also something pretty similar without the water. So you can see the vegetation, the gravels and everything changes. And for such a small image, I have created it with 25 steps. But if you want, you can increase it slightly. So the detailing gets more like enhanced. The weight is 0 0.8 here and I'm using the Euler beta. Then I have this small garden with glowing mushrooms and trees. You can see it looks pretty amazing. And this is a marine water body with aquatic animals and reefs and everything like underwater plants. And the way it is like coming out of the phone as well as there is a depth in it. So it makes it look pretty amazing. And this can be used in very different ways. You can create a lot of different stuffs uh, in uh, very different ways. And uh, yeah, this is one of these which I love. The second one is called Soft Serve Anime. And this is the one. Now, one thing you need to remember is that with the links, you can just check whether there is a trigger word or not. So the trigger word was not required in the micro landscape on mobile phone LoRa, but it is required in the soft serve anime. And this is how you can like uh, activate the LoRa, right? So uh, the trigger word is nothing. You just need to pro uh, put this particular word in uh, your prompt anywhere. That's it. So see, uh, the trigger word is this. You just need to copy it and paste it anywhere that you like. 
so that's uh, in the prompt you can put it at the beginning at the end i have personally found that if you put it at the beginning it's, it generates slightly better so that is something i would like to recommend and for this you can see i generated different kind of kinds of images and this came out pretty well even here you can see like the holding of hands there are four fingers and here is the fifth one so it is actually pretty amazing even here here is a slight uh, problem with the fingers but then again when it comes to art loras and you'll see this when you increase the weight of any lora with flux generally there is a tendency that the hands get messed up so if you don't know i already have a video and a workflow to enhance and correct the hands so you can use that now let's come to the third lora which is the anti blur lora now this lora in general does not improve the image generation in any way and you will get slightly like deformed hands with it until and unless you fix it with any other kind of lora combined with it but the thing which it does pretty well is that uh, there is a tendency of flux to uh, create like you know depth of field effects and the background is blurred quite a bit which i personally don't like and anti blur lora just removes that and makes it feel more natural so here you can see even the far off places are not completely blurred up and if you want to compare it with something you can see in these images how the background is completely blurred so this is the thing and this is again by shaker labs and i kind of like this one and uh, don't use it stand alone that is what i have found you can just combine it with any different kind of uh, lora that can be like uh, a realism lora or a detailer lora and with that when you use it i have used it uh, with the weight of 0.8 but always remember you can use it with 0.4 or 0.5 as well and you can control the level of depth and this lora is good at that now let's come to the fourth one and there has been a mistake here this is not uh, micro landscape this is basically this one the flux one dev lora children simple sketch and you can see there is a trigger word for it which is sketched style now one thing which i have noticed is that always use it like this first there would be sketch style right and uh, then try to like uh, provide information as much as possible because this lora lora is capable of doing a lot of different things right so if you put it that it should be on a wide background it uh, generates is very well otherwise you can see i tried with a different background and you can also get that pastel effect as well so you can actually generate different kinds of backgrounds as well and again like this lora will not have the anatomy completely perfect but it is kind of cool because after all we are talking about kind of sketches and everything so i don't think if you want to use this anyone will count the fingers here although you can fix it as well but i personally don't think it would be important but just look at the detailing and the texture and i find it pretty amazing especially when we are coming to these the prompt coherency is also pretty good you can see that this little girl is holding an umbrella and the shading from here and these actually look like pen sketches so i really like it this woman is uh, playing a piano and this is another one this one is pretty well something which you can actually try is that you can visit my control net video and uh, in that particular video you can see like take any image right and uh, create a canny depth of it a canny mod uh, image of it and then use this particular lora so you can create a sketch version of yourself and i'll uh, make a video on this sometime this week and uh, this uh, really looks pretty good because you can see the sketches and everything look like they have actually been like uh, sketched on some kind of like, you know digital art pads something like that so i like it very much 
and uh, just uh, forget this particular name i forgot to change it yeah this one the next one is called uh, simple illustrations so this one is simple illustration again there is a trigger word for it and not only this is a long trigger word also remember to prompt him uh, prompt it in this way like illustration in style of this uh, particular uh, portion is the trigger word thick black lines on white background because if you want you can also create colorful ones in this but the, where it excels is the thick black lines one because a lot of times you would see these kind of particular images used in web development and apps and websites another pretty good uh, thing is that because these are created by bold lines and everything you can either trace them out you can fill colors into them in photoshop or any other particular uh, app you can like uh, you know uh, digitally paint over them and you can also uh, convert it into like uh, vectors so if you don't know this particular image like images are rasters and uh, vectors are uh, the format which is like for example svg and something so they are scalable and those are generally used in web development and other stuff as well so you can create svgs from this as well and then change a particular color let's say changing the color of the hair or anything the color of her trousers or anything like that so i find this pretty amazing you can change them very easily if you want you can add details very easily in general this whole style of like you know uh, sketching or creating images with markers i particularly like this one so again with the weight of 0.82 you can slightly change it depending on what and rather than thick black uh, lines if you put thin lines or there is something called as felt tip pen if you use those kind of markers and uh, like those kind of prompts you can actually create detailing with thin lines as well so here you can see there are just bold lines here you see there are more details so if you want you can do that as well you see like every detail here slightly uh, you can create that as well even here it is uh, like the shadows and everything are sketched here so if you want you can do that here you can see it's just black so uh, you can slightly change with the thickness of the lines and create something pretty amazing and the last one is something which i am in love with this is the ultra realistic, uh, realistic lora project so this one and you can see like it actually creates pretty pretty amazing uh, outputs and i have tried it on some uh, images as well firstly i don't see that the hand is messed up much and this is a good sign even with higher strengths and this is actually a good sign secondly if you see the detailing and everything you cannot say that uh, this was a generated image with ai it's pretty good but the only thing which i find is that the background is blurred a little bit too much to my liking so combining this with the anti blur lora can be something pretty perfect again you can see this one the all the images that you see the fingers are not deformed and you can see there is a certain realism with the skin texture muscles everything the dresses as well so i completely love these particular images and again for this uh, i would suggest actually to go above 30 steps uh, i have used 28 steps because i was generating in batch and the weight is 0.8 you can slightly play with it if you want uh, this uh, actually this model has a tendency to create the images a little bit harsher even if you see this on their particular uh, hugging uh, cbt ai page you will see the exposure is slightly higher and uh, this is something you can control if you slightly change the weight so just find a balance according to what kind of images you are creating when it is in dark you will see like this harshness getting more and more here and it does not affect that much in sunlight so yeah these were all the six loras which i recently found out and i love them all of them have different use cases so obviously you would not love all six uh, loras as well but if you are a web developer maybe you would like these two and this one as well if you are something into anime or something like that you may like this one as well 
for realism and the anti blur and ultra realistic are pretty pretty amazing so yeah just use them and if you have different settings where these perform uh, better of what i have shown so you can put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible yeah thank you